All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Derek. I'm in Oceanside today at my storage lot, and I've got my 2023 Sea Dew GTX 230 right behind me. Today, we're going to do an install, a super basic install for the snap in fenders. So, it's about time I put these things in because, well, got a couple of scuff marks on here already. As I am a brand new Sea Dew owner, super excited about that, but not super excited about my couple of scuff marks that I got trying to manipulate uh, this brand new Sea Dew around the dock. So we're gonna take care of that, uh, putting in these snap and fenders. So I purchased a kit and it seems like it's super simple to put in. Read up on the instructions, uh, got the fenders right here. Super easy, simple to put in and uh, it comes with all the equipment that's needed and we're gonna get started on it right away. Let me show you the other tools that I'm using. All right, so we got the clip-ons right here and these are basically just gonna be uh, screwed in to the sea -Doo. and they're gonna be put approximately right here for the install. There's gonna be one here, and there's actual measurements that we're gonna be using, so there's no guesswork. But just to show you as an example, and one will be right about here, near the speaker. So it does come with two mounts, and it does come with four of the bolts, all set, ready to go. And uh, we do need a 732nd to get that drilled into the side of the sea -Doo. but I'm also going to be starting with a smaller pilot hole just to get the hole started first and then we'll go ahead and drill a bigger one. Um, got the drill ready to go, measuring tape, and a piece of cardboard with tape on it. So let me show you what we're going to do with this really quick because when we're drilling through Anytime you're drilling and drilling through, there's always gonna be something behind it. So as you might be able to tell here, right behind here, it's open, but is right, right behind there is the hull. So when we're screwing down and in, uh, we don't wanna be screwing down and accidentally poking through. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this piece of cardboard underneath and just as an example, right up there nice and tight and then we're going to tape it down so we'll make sure that's uh super secure before we get started on that so i'm going to get these things set up ready to go so what i wanted to do is i want to show you this really quick is the actual fender itself before i get this installed to show you actually how it goes in before i actually mount it on the ski so you have the snap in piece right here and you can see that there's a groove that it fits in and it snaps right in and that goes right over the ski but let me show you the hardware the piece that we're going to mount is right here okay you see the middle hole so what happens is this these are fun to work with okay so if you can see that, it goes right inside that hole. And you see the back part of it right here. So before I get it mounted on your ski, you'll see what it looks like from behind. And then the actual piece that's gonna be slipping in there is gonna lock in when you press it. And it locks in there just like that. So it doesn't go anywhere. And then that just laps right over your ski, okay? So that's kind of how that looks. Backside. And then when you're done, of course, this is mounted to your ski. And then you just pop that open. And you pull that pin out. See the pin. And you pull it out. And it's that easy. So let's get this mounted on the ski. Okay, guys. So I already pre-measured uh, for the GTX uh, 2023 um, there's a pre-measurement on where you want to be mounting your bracket so we take a look I already did pre-measuring so from here is where we take the measurement and we come all the way over to the blue tape 
So right here on this edge, you can see my fancy arrow, is where the edge of the bracket is gonna be right here. And that would just sit right there on the edge. So that's gonna be the measurement. I believe that's 14.4 inches right there. And that's the first bracket. Then we're gonna measure from here again, all the way down. And I'll show you, I have another blue piece of tape on there right there and so that shows me where I need to put the edge of this bracket right here that's it right there 66.4 inches right there so that's going to be the edge of the bracket we're going to drill our two holes here and then we'll drill our uh, two holes down on the other side and so that's the measurement so make sure you have the correct measurements for your ski and uh, so let's go ahead and start to drill the pilot holes and we'll get these brackets installed. Right there, there we go. That's our mark. So we'll do the other one and then we'll start to drill our pilot holes. And here's the second one. We got that one in. Perfect. Okay, there we go, they're marked. One, two, and we got our blue tape so we know where the edge of the bracket goes. All right, here we go. Okay, we have our pilot holes all set, ready to go. All right, so now we are up near the bow, uh, the speakers, and don't forget to put your safety piece in before you start drilling. So here are my two holes on the second part, and we're gonna slip that underneath there. Nice and tight up and in there. Tape it snug. So if your drill happens to go through, um, it's gonna hit your safety piece, which is a piece of cardboard. All right, so I'll show you down here. Our holes are done. So we have these all set, ready to go. And then we're gonna put it together. Okay. Let's do the second one. So I, it is a little nerve wracking. That's why you wanna make sure you have that safety piece underneath there and just take your time drilling. You'll feel it punch through. And you know, if you're not sure, just pull the drill out and then you can try to uh, put the mounts on and see how it screws in. And you'll be able to tell if you punch through or not. So um, that's what we did with this one here. Just going little triggers at a time. And we have our safety piece behind it. And there we go. So we'll pull that out. Okay. There's our two pilot holes done on this side. Okay, so now we're taking that 732nd drill bit right into that pilot hole. And again, small triggers. There we go. Felt that punch through. And second one. Okay, there we go, got them done. So what I'm gonna do now is with these holes I pre-drilled, is I'm gonna actually go ahead and get them threaded uh, using the hardware 
that the package came with. So let's do that. So I've got the uh, bolt in there now. I'm just gonna pre-thread it and then we'll put it all together. Perfect. Okay, now we're ready to put the brackets on. Nice and tight, ready to go. Okay, so we got the, we got the bracket on and I just kinda hand tightened the screws in here a little bit just to get them all set, ready to go. But uh, the bracket is on and it looks great so far. So now we're gonna go ahead and get these screwed in. Don't over tight it, tighten it. There we go. Good. Good. Let's try this a little bit more. There we go. Nice, tight, not over tight. That is solid. Yeah, so let's get the next one. Okay, got the next bracket already on. And I've already just kind of finger tight the bolts in and uh, we're gonna get it locked and loaded, ready to go. Get them in there a little bit tight first. There we go. There we go. Nice. Great fit. Looking good. Nice and tight. Good, everything's under here. Feels great. Nice and tight. Everything under here. Feels good. Nice and tight. Yes. All right, let's get the fenders on. Okay. Locked and loaded, ready to go. So let's get these fenders on. So again, we're gonna take, open this up. There's our lock-in pin right there. It's gonna go right inside there. Let's get that in. Okay. Yep, locked. Good. There we go. Check that out. There's one. <laughs> locked in there. Nice. Very cool. I'm very excited. All right, let's get the next one in. It's all set, looking very clean, very clean. Okay, there we go. All right, here's the second one. I'm gonna put it in there. There's the pin, as you can see, goes right in there. Down it goes. Give it a lock. And there it is. That looks good, very clean. Good, good and protected now. I'm excited. So there we go. Got that one in there. Perfect. It's locked in there. You might be able to see the pin. And all you got to do is pull it out there. And it locks itself back in. So we got them both on there. So here's the second one. You can see the pin. Let's see. There it is. Okay. And it locks in there. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay. Maybe just for a little cleanup, watch this. I just got one of these. 
because uh, when I'm drying off my sea dew after it's been in the water, you know, you get those little extra water bubbles here and there, but not anymore. I've got one of these. So if you want to clean up some of the dust a little bit, we can clean up some of the dust a little bit. There we go, look at that. Some of the dust up here. That off. That off. <laughs> All right, that was a bit of bonus for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was super easy to do. Uh, so if you liked the video, if it helped out even just a little bit, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, hit subscribe so you can get more of my videos. And so uh, next time when we see you, we'll see you on the water.